I'm going to demonstrate the workflow for marking within your course. So I'm logged into my course here and I'm going to come up to the wheel at the top and go into Dual Grader. Now what this does is take me to all the assignments that I have, um, everything that's been submitted. So by clicking the big button, Show Activities Requiring Grading, um, this will lead me through my marking. Now I could download all the files that have been submitted for this activity, but I'm going to do it um, one at a time because these are very short marking activities. So having downloaded the file, I'm opening it in Word, enabling editing, and taking a quick look through. And what I'm going to do is to use Markup to actually correct this and to put in some advice. Okay. So, just by using the usual word markup tools here, I can put in um, some comments, I can highlight things that I want the student to check themselves. Um, in this case there's very little feedback, it's all very clear, it's very well written. There's something missing here, so... What I'm going to do is just to highlight that. And just add a comment for her to come back and have a look at. And once I've finished um, giving her my comments, I'm just going to save the file and I'm going to save it on my desktop. And what I tend to do is to um, add to the file name um, a suffix just to show that this is the marked file. So once I've done that, I'm going to complete the grade. This is to say 100% it's been marked. Um, put a little comment and my details are on the file itself so then I'm going to add the file choose the file which is right at the top of my desktop list here and return it um, what this will do because the assignment is set up to send a notification it will notify the student that they have feedback and they'll be able to um, come back and see this. So now within uh, this particular person's submission they've got a feedback file and I use the system to move to the next one for marking. Save the grade and go to the next. And I follow the same process. If a student had submitted for example um, a PDF there is a tool here for actually annotating that PDF so what will happen is uh, they'll the system itself will recognise that it's a PDF and I'll get a link on the right here to annotate that PDF. Uh, it's a very simple process, I don't need to save even, I just use the, pro use the annotating tool. So once I've got to the end of my marking this message comes up and I know all my markings done.